Hey everybody, it's me, Great Sky River. Alright, so I built some more houses, like, in survival. Some of them are based on houses I've seen in the workshop, and a couple of them are my own design. I generally build all my building in survival, and if I think it's cool enough, like, I feel like I want to share it with everybody, I'll do the thing where, um, you place a plain block on creative on your lift and you name it and then you go into your survival world and you uh, free your item of choice off the grid of the world and you put it up on your lift and then using uh, dev commands you gotta use uh, some kind of mod that lets you use dev commands uh, you would export using your lift your item up on the lift you would export it slash you would like hit enter and then press slash export space and then whatever your item is named so like like say small house exports uh space small house uh, and that would make a blueprint file and then you would uh, go out of the game and go into the blueprint file uh, where that's located and copy it and then go into the uh, app data of the game to where your uh, creative uh, blueprints are saved which are .json files and you would copy that survival file onto the block that you saved in creative uh, file and then when you next open the game in creative and go to that block and as a creation on your lift and you build it it'll instead build the item and in this case it would be the house I forgot a bit of paint right there uh, and doing that I was able to bring these houses here these houses are not built in creative they were exported into creative from survival specifically for the sole purpose of putting them up on the uh, um, workshop so uh, starting with this big giant house this was a house that was originally inspired by O'Connor and this is called small house um, I think his was originally blue. I have a link to it. I'll put a link to it when I put this in the workshop. It's a, his was originally blue. They kind of look like they belong in San Francisco or like San Diego, somewhere on the West Coast, maybe up in Seattle, up in the hilly parts. Definitely has that look, especially when you look at it like past the ocean. Has that definitely suburban look. I loved it, so I built my own version in the survival world. Um, I had the Steam Workshop open on another screen I have two screens and I was viewing these uh, thumbnail of it you know like you, you in, uh, increase the size of the view and I was using that as the basis Eventually, I did uh, spawn a copy of it, of the blue one, in creative, so I could look at the back of it and the side of it and stuff like that, because I wasn't sure exactly what I was looking at back there. But I ended up building enough of it that uh, I was getting it right. I added some different stuff to the top, to the sides. I added a whole fireplace that works with the fan mod, so you have to have the fan mod going. Here's your fireplace. This is a campfire. You can cook a wok steak on that. All right. Let's see, it kind of leaks out of there. Uh, there's a Fant Mod smoker in here. See that thing? And you can adjust how much smoke you want coming out of that. So you put those two together, and then you use it's, it's tied to the same switch. All right, the switch that's in there. And it gives you that nice fireplace effect, all right? Which I really like. Uh, that's the switch to the light. See, there's no furniture in here. I try to copy the windows. Yep. Try to copy the windows a little bit as much. I like using these windows. I didn't even think of that. That's a good idea, O'Connor. Didn't even think of that like that idea shifted things around a little bit for the fireplace and for these staircases took the top of the garage and made that a, an extra room and stuff like that here's your balcony this is the uh, attic space 
Hello. Alright, that's the attic space. Here's your balcony. Alright, and then you have your little CD benchy thing here. Alright. Um, this is, I think, the same color. I think it's the same color. I have to look again. Or, I thought it looked cool. I don't, why is it like a space there? What's going on here? What? Why does that give a space? Oh, because it's cinder blocks? I'm looking through the cinder blocks? Yeah. Yeah, so also I added like, you know, more. There's more stuff added. There's the basement door that doesn't want to. For some reason in, um. In creative, the doors don't want to come past the, the edges a lot. That's probably why I put that switch there. Let's try and go in here. Alright, see what's going on? Like it's getting stuck? What's happening up there? Huh? It's like it's trying. What's it caught on? Oh. It's like it's getting caught on the edge, right? Close is fine. We get stuck on this thing when it opens. Okay. So here's the, underneath the fireplace. That's what that looks like. See, so yeah, that's that house. Right. Then you have. Like, what do you call that small house? A or something like that? Oh, Conard. There'll be a link. This was uh, inspired by or based on a house uh, that I looked at on the creation that reminded me of, like, because I'm from New York City, so I'm, like, in the New England area. So these reminded me of the way some of the colonial-style houses look up here, uh, especially in the... Uh, more rural areas you start to get towards more rural areas you would have like these kind of colonial style houses usually there's some kind of decoration right here like some kind of scrolly decoration that comes down and this weird kind of half pitched thing that goes on very uh reminds me of like stuff like uh uh What's his name? Um, Paul Revere and, th and things like that. Like that kind of house. Like I don't know. Maybe it wasn't that. These houses aren't that old. But that's what it reminds me of. English colonial style. Maybe. I guess it's called. Uh, somebody black cat. Uh, with some numbers. Made the original one. And it was like small English style house. Right. I think small English style house. Made by black cats. Numbers. Uh, that'll be also be in. There'll be, there'll be a link. There'll be a link. I put a link for everything. What the fuck's going on here? Why did I put that metal there and not where a hinge would be? Is that because I put that... Anyway. This also uses Fant Mod. Because it has these small panels. Glass panels. Also, I believe it has a fireplace. Yep. With some wok steak on it. That does also the smoker. That that does. This has, let's see. You have a main floor and then you have a, some attic space. Hey, I better fix that. What? What? Hold on. Let me... What in the heck? That ain't right. That should not be like that. Whoa. What's, what's happening here, fellas? A brick goes here. And how does it go back there? What? Was I supposed to fix this and never did? Is that how that's supposed to be? Well, that's weird. One, two, one, two. 
Hey, you know what? This is all messed up. We're going to have to fix this up. Weird, man. What the heck? What's happening here, man? What's going on, GSR? You slacking. You can't have that. Is that supposed to be painted, too? It was painted. It just looks funny. Yeah, so anyway, okay, so that's that. English style house by uh, Black Hat Numbers. Okay, so I'll put that up on the link as well in the, in the Nexus. Then you also have these two shops that were inspired directly by directly by Komodo Gaming. Yeah. Okay, so Komodo Gaming made the uh, barber shop. It's the bright red barber shop. It's got a, a spinning barber pole like over here in this vicinity um, And some other stuff when you, when you go inside there's probably like some barber chairs that do stuff and probably turn around and stuff uh, I didn't really look at it too much because I didn't want to copy too much even though it kind of looks pretty much like it But that's the style of the shop I guess because in real life, a lot of these shops look like this. When I grew up in Brooklyn, there was a lot of like places like this that had the shop on the bottom with the uh, second floor apartment and a third floor apartment. And then sometimes, um, you know, like usually you would have a separate entrance for those apartments there. But then the store sometimes would have more store on the second floor. So the staircase would definitely be on the inside of the store. So I really liked the way it looked. Um... Didn't want a barbershop though, so I built these kind of uh, generic shops that I haven't done anything with. The signs you can get out of the warehouses. Uh, you got to strategically use uh, explosives to blow them free from the item that they're attached to. If you're in Venmo, or if you're in uh, like using Fantma like I am, you can use like one of the various methods that are available. Ah, uh, another spot. What happened here? Hmm. Huh. What the heck? Did I... Why not? What? Hold on a second here. Why am I having all this difficulty here? What? What? I wish there was a way to get the brick to be like a red brick. Like, I know why he used that bright red. But there's really no alternate. Like, this red, the red is too bright. Oh, what am I, teal? The, the red is too bright for the brick. And the brown is too brown. Like, the brown, like, there's, there's no light brown. Who, who texts me? I always forget to turn my text off. So I'd really like to have like like some deeper reds that don't have so much uh, uh, what you call it brightness to them for these bricks. That would be really cool. So I really, you know, being from what the fuck, the fuck, what the fuck. What? What's going on here? Why is there so many holes in this thing? Dude. What are we looking at here? Is that wood? No, that's a cementy. And that's that. Alright. So this should be this color gray. There we go. So New York and like people from Chicago and stuff like that, they'll see that, uh, a lot of brick and a lot of a lot of places around here. What the hell is going on here? And it's very iconic. 
a lot of the infrastructure, like the bridges and s sewers and stuff, like all have this like red brick, and I would really like to replicate that in certain builds. Why is there wood here? Should be concrete, right? I thought I was securing it, but I guess I didn't secure it all the way. Let's just fix that up and not get too distracted by it. So yeah, and then this was supposed to be brick down here, but we're not gonna mess around with that too much. Right? I use these kind of railings. This is the railing I put in here. I have this whole open space over here, second floor. Oh, all right. All right. Hey. See now, okay. Let me give you an idea. See, here's the red, right? So let's tr let's let's look at. We're gonna use like the dark red or the darkest red. See, it's too, too, it needs a little brown in there, right, to be like the brick. It's too red. It's too red. I know he was going for that, like, nice, iconic, right? Is that the word I'm looking for? It's just too red. So I guess i just go with the brown. Motor Gaming, cheers, mate. Awesome job. Same thing, uh, black hat numbers. Sorry, I don't know the numbers. Uh, signs don't do anything, lights don't do anything. And this one, no decoration. This one was also inspired by uh, the Komodo. I put a little more detail on this one. I gave it the bay window, put the door on the opposite side. I used more of the glass. So this one uses Fant Mod. This one is all vanilla. Now it doesn't want to close. Okay. So this one is all vanilla. No, no, this one... Oh, this one is all vanilla. It doesn't need any, any mods. This one uses Fant Mod because I have these little flat planes, panes of glass, here and here. Uh, I don't... Excuse me. I don't think it uses any other Fant Mod stuff. See, that one opens, all right. But you won't close, all right. Oh, it closed. Oh, this one works. What the heck? Anyway, so this has a timer and a logic. So to give you that iconic flashing that you would see with a neon sign. Combine it with the lights. All right, gives you that nice effect. All right, nice big windows. Ow. That was my skull. Again. Whoa, what? My OCD. Again, Komodo Dragon. I mean, Komodo Gaming. You know what? These should be... Those colors. Not brown. Yeah, it's much better. Komodo Gaming. Cheers, mate. Awesome job. Love you. Right? So that's that one. That's that one. So you got O'Connor. 
Black Cat with some numbers and Komodo Gaming. Oh, three. All three is did a good job. I don't know what the hell's happening here now. Arrgh! It works so weird in creative, man. And now, finally, to these last two. These are just generic stack houses. They're basically like the same house, size wise. Dimension wise, they're basically exactly the same house. The difference is the inner wall on this one is brought back there to make a porch and a deck, <clears throat> whereas in this one it's fully out. Um, both houses use Fant Mod. Again, with the bubble block for the iconic old school style glass. You got yourself a small upstairs on this one. And a small upstairs area with a small closet. And then your attic space. Uh, what is going on here? This looks like extras. This looks like a slip up. And then this one too, eh? Is it a slip up? Yeah, it looks like it. Right? Gave a little jumbly crookedy chimney. A little kind of Nordic design kind of inspired rooftop crenellations. Also, I, I had the roof beams come out. I don't know why I like that. rooms come out and stick out a little bit as you can see here like you see how it comes out and then these come out a little bit I don't know I like the effect more it makes it look like it's more stable and the same like that I like putting these little things that make it look like it's, it's stabilized so that's that house the door gonna close huh, it's only on some things that it does that I guess a quick look at the outside more of a medieval style, right? And then here's the second one. This one's got a porch. I right, changed up the design. It also got the fireplace, so it also needs the fan mod. Gave it the jumbled down fireplace over here, uh, chimney. This time I wanted to make it look like the person was trying to go through some effort to hold it together, stabilize it, even using like a plank of wood bolted. Bolted we'll directly to the chimney to try to hold the parts together. Also, I decided to do the roof decorations with uh, make it look like steer horns, buffalo horns, maybe, or yak, depending on where you are. So the Fant mod also has these uh, wedge blocks. So this is a t uh, one by two by one wedge. One by t yeah, one by. T two by one wedge and then these are the pipes you get by the warehouse in the parking lot area and then these I forget where they are I think these are the red pipes these are part of the red pipes maybe part of the red pipes I'm not sure that you find in the warehouse All right. So uh, this, I see the neighbors are getting noisy. So this one has the fireplace in the corner. I even angled it with a um, a bearing so that it, it's at the right angle so that it faces directly the player. Little number look at the outside. See, it almost looks like the fire is burning so hot it's making the, the bricks glow. All right, okay, there you go. Check out the upstairs. Uh, uh, uh. This one's a little more bare. Uh, I didn't put a third floor on this one. 
kind of a small space, so you got to figure out what you want to do with it. All right, here's a nice deck. Sit out here when the rain's coming down. Smoke your joint. Drink your beer. Drink your wine. Whatever you want. There you go. Change rotation or what? I got nothing in my hand. So anyway, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six more buildings for the Town and Village series. These will be up on the workshop with links. And I will also put this up on the YouTubes for the Town and Village series. And soon I will do a survival walkthrough of my little town, which is basically the mechanic station tile, which is crammed full of shit, and some things thrown around on the surrounding tiles, including these houses that you see around here. Okay, cheers. See you guys later. Bye.